Hello again. With the current mania for providing controversial statues with explanatory signs, I thought that it might be no bad thing to put one in London's Parliament Square next to the statue of Nelson Mandela which stands there. Many people today regard Mandela as everybody's favourite uncle, a smiling, good-natured man with his eyes twinkling with kindness. He's the closest thing in the West to a secular saint. We sometimes forget that before Mandela became involved with it, the African National Congress, the ANC, had been in existence since before the First World War. It was founded in 1912. The policy of the ANC had always been one of peaceful, non-violent resistance. That all changed when Nelson Mandela became a figure in the ANC. He founded an armed wing of the movement called Omkonte Wesiswi, Spear of the Nation. This was a terrorist group and it concentrated chiefly not on attacking white soldiers but rather murdering black Africans who were suspected of collaborating or not being as enthusiastic about overthrowing the government as Mandela and his friends were. Roads used by black farm workers were booby-trapped with landmines. People were lynched and bombs detonated in public places where black people were as likely to be found as white people. At his trial, Mandela pleaded guilty to instigating 156 terrorist attacks. It also came to light during the trial that Nelson Mandela, the cuddly father of the nation, had said that black people who collaborated with the whites or disagreed with ANC policies should have their noses cut off. This was no figure of speech, but an actual recommendation for mutilating people that annoyed Mandela. Even when he was locked up in prison, Mandela still directed on Conte. His approval was required for all attacks. It is significant that Amnesty International consistently refused to adopt Mandela as a prisoner of conscience because of his violent actions and the fact that he was responsible for many murders carried out by the organisation which he founded. It is also undeniably true that Nelson Mandela had some very dodgy supporters and was closely involved with a few vicious dictators. Colonel Gaddafi of Libya was always ready to finance terrorism, of course. It will be remembered that he used to supply the IRA with money and weapons. He gave the ANC over $10 million. Anybody looking at the state of South Africa today can see Nelson Mandela's legacy, and it's not an attractive one. South Africa, for example, has the world's highest rate of rape, with a third of women questioned saying that they had been victims of this crime. Racist attacks on foreigners, especially Nigerians, have led to Nigeria breaking off relations with the country. Mandela and his successors trashed the country that they inherited. It's high time that a plaque explaining some of Mandela's background was erected next to his statue in London, or, failing that, that the statue itself be removed. <laughs>